This time, we are en route to see the city on the hill that Jesus spoke about in the Gospels. Even though we grew up and lived most of our lives in Israel, we did not know about this place until recently. It's a very unknown site, mostly due to its remote location, requiring a hike on top of a mountain ridge surrounded by old minefields from the 1948 war. And if you can make it through that challenge, then you're met with the ancient rocks that have been left untouched for millennia and are ready to fall on you at any moment. But none of these should stop you from seeing one of the most breathtaking sights in Israel, the ancient Roman city of Susita. Welcome to Susita. Wow, I can't believe we're finally here. This is so cool. I think the black bugs own this place. We are in the ancient city of Susita, the Hippos, or in Arabic, Qal al Hussein. Qal al Husson. Qal al Husson. This is incredible because this place, these ruins, have been here, untouched, for over a millennia. Babe, look! It's like there's a deep hole. A well? Or a cistern? For water? Cool! At the time of Jesus, this place was quite significant. In fact, they even had their own mine and manufacturing of coins with the stamp of a horse, which is the name of the city, Hippos. This city was one of the famous Decapolis, the 10 Roman cities in the Middle East region that had the cutting edge technology and luxurious life. Today, the remains of only two cities reside within the borders of Israel. Last episode, we explored the largest city, Scythopolis. And now we're in the second city, Hippos. The name Susita, or Hippos in Greek, actually means a horse. Sus in Hebrew is horse, so the Susita, and Hippos in from Greek, a horse. And same in Arabic, Kal uh, al Hussein. Qalat al-Husan. Qalat al-Husan. Horse. I have a riddle for you. Look at these columns. They are all lying facing the same direction. What happened here? Can you guess? If you said an earthquake, you are absolutely correct. Some of them are still intact and they've been here just like that, not moved since 749 AD after a huge earthquake that happened here in the area. Wow. Among the excavations are four churches, cathedrals. And according to Haifa University Archaeology Department, they say there is at least three more yet to be unearthed. The people of Susita that lived here, they are on a high place where did they get their water from? 
throughout the city there are drains that collected the rainwater. I have one right here and it would go all the way into the water reservoir where the water got collected into a, this 27 feet deep place. Very, very smart system. La réservoir. <laughs> La réservoir. I don't think I will ever be good at French. When Jesus gave the Sermon on the Mount, he told the people, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Jesus gave that sermon right there in the north of the Lake of Galilee. And at that time, for those people in this region, the illustration couldn't be more clear. Because for them, there was only one city that is on a hill in this region, and they could see it right from there. Everybody could see it. It was right here, this city, the Susita. This is what Bible scholars believe is the reference of the illustration that Jesus gave of a city on the hill that can be hidden. Look how big it is, it's massive. At the time, imagine it was constructed huge and with lights in the evening. It would be really visible from all around Galilee Lake. We're done with filming, and I think we hear a call of a hyena. No, 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 no. This is dangerous. Babe, go, go, right now. Something I don't want to meet. Eat? It's, you want to eat? I don't want to meet. Oh, meat. I will be the food for it, not Sir, the other way around. My hearing is not so well.